we're recording and we've got the overlay people can see you now tier threes you want to get your high youtubes out of the way the inevitable comment coming in of why didn't you edit out this part because i don't I don't edit the pro analysis videos Everyone saying hi hi youtube hi youtube all right we're watching rays we got jing we're playing lotus interesting we're playing against go Ru, and we've got normal breach the comps look pretty standard um although uh the enemy team has double duelist we have chamber instead uh for double sentinel and no raise on the enemy team and very common defense we're yeah. playing a he got clapped on you oh he needs the cross off rip he dash, he dash. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. This guy is so ready for them to TP or South dash Paolo. across. He, played really bad. he just needs it off rip. <laughs> That's actually goaded. Frenzy by. Let's go fight. Oh, no, One go. Shadow. No, no, no. I go for that. Radiant. Radiant. Oh, no way. Oh, no, Oh, Jason. You. She oh. was a woman holding flesh here. That was almost crazy. All right. I'm not surprised that we see him start here. We're probably going to see that a lot. And you already know we're, we're going to start making playbooks every time we do a pro review. Can just need rubble off rip on pistol against jet slash omen. Expecting them to cross fast to dodge our nade. Like, <laughs> that's actually so funny. All right, let's uh, save. This is. I forget how I name these, so we'll have to rename it after I go look through my folder yeah, why structure. Would you pick but... these, that's such a bad, bad place to pick. It's like suicide. It smokes some more. Because of the music shit. Yeah, he did not want to peek out of a link there, and I don't blame him, because walking out of this tiny choke is super hard with all this info. So he was thinking Omen was gonna flash it off rip, but even then, it's sort of like um, Pearl. On Pearl, a lot of the time, good players on defense will let's say you're playing Blink. You've taken, you've got control of mid, and it's turning into a B retake. Game. A lot of the time, good players will just not go this way, because I'm sure you've tried coming out B from B link. It's just not it. You're like, you've got this threat, this threat, this threat, this threat. It's like you're surrounded by threats, and there's no good way to come out. And so, good players, a lot of the time, they'll just go this way. And they'll retake from CT or heaven, because. It's a lot more straightforward. And then on top of that, if they've got smokes, they'll smoke right here on their retake. And now you can see a very clear path opens up to their retake. So it's all about finding the best ways to take good fights um, this game. So it's not like that Jing doesn't want to fight them. You know Jing. This dude loves fighting. He just doesn't want this fight because he's deemed this one to be worse than if he could come here or if they might push them into B, he wants to take that fight there. So if they end up pushing through A, Jing is out here like, I'll probably play A retake this way or this way. Um, or even let them through, you know, let wait for the sounds of planting to happen. Then Omen and him can come through here and there'll be less enemies to fight. So he's, he wants the fight. He just doesn't want um, the the fight presented at that time since it's three enemies because it's no good third come out. 5v3, Jason. I should have been dead, no, I should have been dead, I should have been dead, okay, okay sorry. Okay, nice try. Son of a b. 
bitch. Who uploaded this FOD? Ting's already naded, man. He's already naded. watching a different VOD. Please tell me that these exist. Bro, it's six to five. Are you serious? I'll find it, chat. When was this VOD? Buy this exact game, you think I won't? Uruchin, why don't you cut this out of the edit? Hmm, when do you think this game happened, chat? It was uploaded two weeks ago. <gasps> oh, we have a sky. And we're playing Omen. Jing picks Omen this game. Jing Tracker GG. Because now we should be able to find this Ray's Lotus game, right? This is four days ago. So this I was uploaded two weeks ago. It was uploaded on March 9th. Whoa, that's not two weeks ago. YouTube! YouTube! That's probably three weeks ago. Okay, March 9th would be... How many days ago is that? On the 26th, 17 days ago? So it'd be this stream. If they uploaded it same day. Which it looks like they did! I found the VOD! I found the VOD! Get out of here! Get out of here! The crowd goes wild! Same VOD. It's exactly no, no. the same game. No, no, no. God, I can't believe they cut out his util usage. Instant aid. Shorty buy. Taking up. You open door, no. We see oh. Jason. One in. Target I know, I know. Right there. Oh. Wait, the jet was in already just now, though. He will bang me. Ooh. Okay, okay. So the nade, as I was expecting, could go both ways. He's not just going to exclusively nade Rebel. <gasps> no, I just cleared all text boxes. Oh, well, we'll, re we'll come back here. And also nade Rebel. As you can see, I'm a fallow plant genius. Of course, and also nade on this side. Mix it up. And I'm going to try and figure out real quick if he needed reactionary there or if he was going to nade right away anyways. Because the enemy breach stun did come. I think we were instanating here. We're totally instanating. This dude's already jumped before the breach stun comes. So he's throwing that right away. Stancy. Yeah. Was he holding too far of an angle for the shorty there? He's just spotting for his teammate. He's not trying to win that fight. It's a gamble. Tight, you were Who's next? Stand C. Yeah. You were side, you were side. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, he saw me, right? What the fuck? I'm so stupid. That's what's you. 
Sheesh. Hi, swag, too. I want you to look. He knows this jet fight's coming. People screw up these types of fights all the time, so I want you to watch again. We literally watched JPC screw up this type of fight today. So right here, the way you screw this up is you pre-aim deep into the wall and you swing out wide. And then this jet's going to be here on this wall and he's going to shoot you. And your crosshair's going to be way too deep. What Jing does is he knows that he's going to get swung. He moves his crosshair off the corner and he starts shift walking. Now this jet peaks right away, so you don't see this to full effect. But you would see him like come, he back up and he'd like come around this corner pretty slowly with this crosshair gap constantly so that he can't get like peaked on. One in, one in. <coughs> Anytime you're further from the angle, that's how you approach it. When you're closer, you want to be the peeker, like how that jet was trying to peek him. Tell me if you guys see you. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. Wait for me. I think if you eat another pen, I'm so no. Let's go, just go together. Come, come. Let's pull up a Brad VOD. Well, if you're closer, but you don't have the tire swinging, beats me. I need to see a VOD. Mid side, mid side. I'm not sure he meant to jump peak, but. Last player standing. What? Oh. Oh. What a well played clutch by that Yoru. I want I want to break down the gunfights. So obviously, error. Okay. And so the Yoru commits to crouch spray because he knows Jing can't shoot back. Okay. Keep watching how the Yoru takes every fight. Here, the Yoru sees that chamber commits to the spray, and so he keeps swinging wide before shooting on the head, which is just like the split clip with Darshan. The Yoru is not turning around. He commits there. Player standing. The same idea there. He's, notice how wide he's swinging. How wide he's swinging. And here, this is so heckin'. This is so based from the Yoru. So, he hears Omen spamming the box. Okay. And so now he thinks Omen's going to probably hold tight or like shift walk out. And Omen's not going to expect him to swing wide. So what happens in these scenarios when you get wide swung unexpectedly is usually you flick your crosshair really quickly to chase them. And so that's why this Yoru now has swung back this way. Does that make sense? Because he's expecting Omen to like overcompensate for that unexpected fast swing. That's why he's turning around for his bursting what? in this last fight there. Mid side, mid side the quick decision it's not quick decisions it's like this is all already how you take the fights so here he like is expecting chamber to expect him to swing so he sees the crowd spray he keeps going wide that spray right there see he's peeking as the omen's peeking so he knows that omen's going to be like potentially pre-aimed on this box he's expecting omen's crosshair to, if, anything, if anything to still be in the wall so the omen's gonna have to flick to like catch him so he starts jiggling already back to the other side. Just what? Dodging across this. Really well played by your room. But of course, a huge error by Jing. We'll bring it back. APAC players are different. Should've That's the wrong takeaway. Yeah, Just like Radiant players. But yeah. They cross, they cross. Normal nade. Every time fight, yeah. You wanna fight? Okay, okay. Yeah, he it seems to be pretty fifty fifty. My double's dead. The open door, yeah. Bomb, buddy. Yeah. 
on site. Look, look, look how Breach is playing the angle now, too. One site. Playing tight. One, what the fuck, what the fuck. This seems to be pretty common when the dude rotates. He seems to prefer to break the door, rotate through B. And then we have seen split where he either goes this way or he comes this way through the door. And he explicitly uses, this is probably going to be seen every time. When he opens the door, he uses Boombot to clear that side. And he routes the side. Generally breaks door for faster rotations. Um, and this is fine because the door being broken is usually a benefit for the Defenders. A lot of pro teams will break the door and the round begins anyways. Thanks for the one's up, Nos. Progressing mound. Oh, I hate this. This happens to me too. Last player standing. Where's our B player? Why? It's open. He One enemy there. remaining. Spike down. C. No, this game. I'm getting wrecked. Teleport's ready. Yeah. So the reason Chambers not just holding the off angle with low HP because that is how you win is because Breach can flash. Like when you're low HP, the best way to convert is you hold off angle for the one tap. But Breach knows that, and that's why Breach flashes. But Chamber knows that, and that's why Chamber's got cover and dodges the flash. Man, if I E. Looks like we sometimes see ourselves starting here. Um, this might be good when we're low on util. I'm not sure yet. So I'm not going to write anything about that yet. Let's see if we play there more. I go satchel. I, I go fast. I, I, I fast. I need here. Okay, is there any left? We boot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I go satchel. Placing the sentry. Grenade! Satchel out. Satchel out. Ooh. Did they... One more, one more. Yeah. Do I want to point this out. I think it's actually, I think it's a mistake that a lot of players make. And I actually, um, I should share this with like rag, um, like Yoru players in particular. I see you like teleporting here and swinging this way, but it's almost certainly way better to take the fight from this region because of uh, they isolate much easier. When you swing out on this side, you like reveal everything at once, which sometimes can be fine when they're flashed, but this spot feels so much more comfortable. We're going to use green to represent satchel. If that makes sense. So he fights from in front of rubble like this, and I that's going to be probably pretty consistent what we say two two more two more Omen TP jet as well all she there all she there that, that time he's holding nade do you see when do you watch again he's definitely holding this then throwing because the enemy team flash. I think he crossed. They're gonna open the door. You have stunned? Okay, never mind. No, no, I stunned already. You should run. Okay, never mind. JPC here. I'm rewinding so you can see how he swings into this fight. He's not careful. He's ready. He's not careful. It's deathmatch. There's an enemy there. He's swinging. You him. should run. 
to be clear that is careful it's just in your mind careful is the wrong thing i guess spike down a Yeah, your friend got a bomb. Hi, KDD. Last player standing. Mm. Nice. My nice. God, do you see that? This dude's literally looking right at us. So remember when I said the way you convert low HP rounds is you hold from an off angle. But the reason the chamber didn't hold from the off angle is because the breach had flash. Well, if you see in this matchup, there's no flash. So Forsaken immediately holds in an off angle, okay? But now this, I, I, I wouldn't do this. I'm not this good at the game. Forsaken's holding close to the corner, expecting this guy to like expect him to be in the off angle. And sure enough, the guy literally dead he peaked like this angle. That's crazy. That's crazy. Can I get a drop? Yeah, the other killjoy is really smart and Forsa Forsaken is like Shit. expecting her to be that smart. Uh, that shit's crazy. Uh, I would be holding wider, I'm not gonna lie. And then I would uh, hold, lose hold that round if, to that if, if killjoy. Flesh, you for sure. Because that guy would daddy peek me tight and I my crosser wouldn't be ready for it. I cannot believe that. Right there. Get out of my way! Because Again, I'm waiting for the flash. They stand this. Damn, we got four strong side right now. You see this shit? Guys. I didn't see anything else. Hey, two, 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 jet, kill Jay. One more jet. Think he satchels? And yeah, he chills. Chills. Is the door open, guys? No, no, no. If you guys break the door open, we can try this together soon. <coughs> Nice. Watch that back. One enemy remaining. He's pin ping ponging crosses. So you can't see on the mini map, which is why I had to watch back. So his teammates break the door and they're shooting. And notice he peeks out. They're looking at him, so he unswings. He's looking at his mini map here. He sees his teammates shooting at them, and so he like re swings out. Let's go. Oh my god, almost died, guys. Hi, Money Kick. Hi, FMZ. Do you want to dance? Should actually. This box is like. It's such a shit position, Jason. Yeah. There you go. There's your questions, right? You were asking about the box. King just called it such a shit position. Yes, they should make this box like a bit bigger so it's easier to fight, you know? And like, cannot shoot through. It's not this like useless position, I think. Let me go. Okay, you uh, NK. Who's next? Should be C, I think. Is it? Yeah, they stand C. Yeah, yeah. I think Ting was just a bit slow, but um, your revolt is like better sofa drone. And one of the hardest things about hitting C is the shape of the terrain and lack of info. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Bro, this guy just updraft top site and pre aim up here. <laughs> that is such a crazy entry. <laughs> She's literally expecting the rotator to already be peeking up here. It's, it's gross. Hi, Jinsu. Oh, that's the first angle she's pre-aiming and it makes sense that's the most likely threat One down. watch forsaken cook can we back on forsaken cam please jing i just want to watch forsaken and this guy's trying to get info for his teammate never mind i want to watch this guy spike down a should be on here right Last player standing. What? It's okay. I've seen this omen shoot. We win these. Ah, there's not a good angle to do. I'm invested now. Clutch. Damn. 
No. <coughs> I gotta stop, but I'm landing. Thinking Notice how they're both looking at each other. Like, these dudes are both aware of where they likely are. Damn. Just a slight error in the peak. Clutch. No. <coughs> and the other woman has I angle am. advantage at that point. And flash it away. Yes. Brad can confirm if he's still here. We were playing like swift plays and we randomly faced a radiant. And instantly I just knew when like we'd be fighting each other and whatnot. Like there was one round the guy planted. I'm like, oh, he's looking at me CT. And I swing CT and he's looking at me CT. It's, like, before you it's hard to explain. Out. What the? Ah, he you he just does it straight up. Oh, I need to learn to do it with an air streak. So when you're air strafing midair, this is raise tech. Um, yeah, we're booting Valorant. The YouTube viewers will have to wait. Because I'm not editing it out. I'm booting up Valorant. This is tech that is accidentally raise tech. This is applicable to every agent. However, it's important that you know this, especially if you main raise. I'm about to show you something you didn't realize was in the game. Or maybe you did. Some of you probably know. But some of you don't know, and that's what matters. Apologies to everybody who already knows this. This text going to blow your mind, though. Because this is how min-max Jing Satchel is. When you realize that he's just doing this little air strafe for this, like... Heckin' 50 millisecond advantage. You can be like, what the hell? It's got nothing to do with the spawn barrier timing. Finally, okay. back out in the field. Let's go. So, so many new in Valorant, to try out. if I you're like jumping and just holding W, you don't really gain speed unless you screw up your bunny hops. Like, you'll gain speed, but very slowly. Okay? So, again... You see, I'm moving very slowly. But the moment you start adding air strafes, you can pick up to full speed very quickly. You see that? You see how I've reached full speed? So jumping alone and just moving straight, you don't really speed up at all. But air strafing gains you momentum midair. You can actually get up to full speed with air strafing um, pretty quickly. Man. So while you're air strafing, you gain speed. So here at the start of the round, he's against the barrier, and he air strafes this jump to ensure that he's at full speed. Because essentially, if you just jump for the satchel, then you better pray that you ran up to full speed before you jump. But if you jump with an air strafe, then even if you jumped at like 90% speed, the air strafe will top you off. Okay? So that air strafe is going to bring you up to 100% speed, even if you accidentally jump at like 90%, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it just feels good. Exactly, Brad. So I'm explaining right now intuition. Like to some players, it just makes sense. Like that feel, felt right. But now you know why it feels right. That's how the mechanic works. Flash first before you smoke. The light from them. What the? What the? So it basically guarantees you'll be at full speed. Last player standing. Spike down A. You should run. While he's in the air, YBM. While you're in the air, if you're not air strafing, you don't really gain any speed. But if you are air strafing, you can gain speed. Let's go. So it's like a it's a good thing to do every time because sometimes you'll fuck up the jump and you'll jump at 95% speed and that air strafe will bring you up to 100%. So we've got the bomb. Wow, dude, he holds so tight. Damn. Jason, let's go. Nice. Literally the same duel, man. Dude, our woman Jason, Last I asked him to flash. He wanted to smoke first before he flashed. Then what's the point? By the time he flashed, they all run yeah. there already. 
Can I drop some mantle? Yeah. Thanks. Are you sure why he was doing it? Yeah. I think they go C, Jason. Yeah, I think we really take C. Sometimes the why is important because these are the things that sometimes cause people to get stuck at like a mortal three is they don't realize certain things are important and so they just don't do them like you copied that from jing but there might be a player who, who didn't copy it because like why does it matter and it feels better to me not to airstrafe and they just it doesn't matter in their head like they're convinced there's no problem with this um and things like that you have these things you don't know what they are and that's the problem i'm pretty good at figuring out what they are though Oh, also, so it goes on a YouTube video. I said it during the 12 hour stream yesterday, but that won't go up. This is going up on YouTube. Brad, 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 I figured out the anti flowchart technology. I figured out the questions I don't like. The questions I don't like are when should you rotate fast? The questions I do like are why did you rotate fast that round? It's just the way you ask the question. That's how you have to ask it. Why did he rotate fast this round? And then you just never ask when do you rotate fast? You just never ask that question. That's just not a question you should ask. They open door, guys. Careful. Go, why did he hold tight that round? Not oh, when do you, you hold tight. You can outreach. And then bam. Every coach like loves you. You can outreach. Yeah, you can oh, outreach. they breach ulted tree, so he satcheled it. Satchel out. Damn, but the enemy killed Joy. Literally, two, literally two, has a molly set up. Ready for it. Nice, Omen half. <laughs> me too. He double he shot me classic when he stunned Jason. Yeah, that's messed up. Let's put it on the sheet though. So we had the satchel here with ult. Makes sense. And this is paired, of course, with teammate utility. Paired with teammate utility lobby. You don't want to just second send this. I mean, maybe you do. You're crazy, but I wouldn't. And then this. Makes a lot of sense. I don't think this requires much explanation. Just knowing this actually exists, I'm pretty sure Jing just won this. To be clear, um, like I'm pretty sure he just did this because they were in trees. You just have to remember, trees like a kill zone. Enemies here. Remember, teammate util plus you flying in is really. Keep that mental note in your back pocket and you're chilling. Let's see if I can hit the satchel. I booted up the game anyways. He wanged it, yeah. Satchel out. Satchel out. And kinda, I went too high. Satchel out. Satchel out. Still too high. I'm kind of getting it. Delay the second pop. That's what I was doing, but I was getting too much height. Maybe I aim just lower. Do I aim higher when I delay the second pop? Ooh. Aim lower. Okay. I need to fall more. I, I see it. Bingo. I get it. It makes total sense. Yeah. Guys, look. He double hit on me when he stunned. <laughs> aim in, aim in. Uh, bomb drop in tree. Lucky, dude. Bro. <coughs> okay, okay. So, we've wrapped up defense. So, I'm going to, like, executive summary. Notice, we're not playing B. We're almost always playing strong side. I'm going to, I'm going to really, um, I'm going to split the map with this blue line. Strong side. You know, no, 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 we're not going to use blue. So, right. Strong side. Strong side means there's more defenders playing on this side of the map. And this is weak side. Okay. 
And then there's this additional role kind of in the middle, which we're going to call in quotes, fast rotate or support. And this is not where raise belongs. Jet can go here. Of all the duelists that belong on fast rotate, raise is one of the least fast rotate duelists. And the reason for this is because raise utility is really strong for fighting to hold sites. It's not, I mean, it's good for retakes. Don't get me wrong. Like you're playing heck and split. It's great. But that's because um, split favors retakes in general. Anyways, um, like who would you rather have holding a site that's being rushed? Raise or Jet? You'd probably tend towards Raze because her grenade, her satchels, they're like almost designed to hold sites. They do damage. They take map control. Okay. So that's why we don't see her on fast rotate as much. Instead, you're going to see agents like Omen. Because his util, while it is useful to hold sites, he can throw that shit there from B. He can smoke C while he's on B. He can flash C while he's on B. All of his util is fine. Um, so the agents you generally see play fast rotate are agents whose utility is weaker um, or more globally applicable. Okay, so like B on jet, yeah, is like an example of something that's totally valid. Uh, Viper on B, yeah, that's valid. Um, although Viper actually does prefer C and A. Like if I were to position a Viper personally, because of her mollies, she's kind of better at playing weak side C. This is where I really put her with an orb here and molly to hold that choke. Like kind of like a Cypher. Um, and if you have a Cypher as well, I put Viper towards A and Cypher on C. But B, Viper is not bad. But Viper's a holding agent. Like, let's talk Breeze, for example. Because it's a Viper map. It's most common to see Viper playing B and holding this choke down. Makes sense? Because she's got mollies for stall. Um, but occasionally, um, you'll see... Like, Fnatic ran Omen. And when they run Omen, Omen plays, like, in this middle area. Because Omen... Can, he doesn't have a molly or anything. He's good at contesting just general space. He, he's not the best at locking down a choke point necessarily. Sometimes he is used for that because of his flash. Um, so it's important to keep in mind. Like Viper is a bit worse on B, um, but she's still good on B. It's just if I'm playing Viper, I'd probably favor C or A because her molly is good at contesting heavily contested space. And I don't want to play retake Viper because where the hell are my mollies going? You know, like uh, if we're talking breeze, like half of the breeze guide is me showing lineups for retake mollies because they're so hard to throw if you don't have prep because the util is like pretty unintuitive. So very strong for controlling the choke. Uh, do, do, raise defense. All right, let's move this around. So this gets moved to, we need a new folder. Do a list. Get red. And then it went, okay, then the pro name. And then the map and app. Okay, okay. Perfect. Do a list, add folder. Jing. Let's color it. Okay, so this moves into do a list and moves into. Bam. Now let's go to offense. I think with right there. Sure. Right there. Yeah. You have access to all those players? You do not. Um, I try to include screenshots of the strats from the pro analysis now, though. Classic. Just tap, tap. Hit shot, hit shot. Hit shot. Honestly, offense is probably just gonna be uh this dude going crazy. I, the open dog. Notice he chooses not to take that fight, and this breach, breach is crazy. dumb. Yeah, so he just called breach crazy. Just look, Jing I, will love dog. any fight that's 50-50 or better. Let's pretend that Yoru is a classic. Jing's in, in like Flynn. Bam! You hear that? That's a sheriff. And now this fight is too long range for us. I'm not in. And neither is Jing. Wait, is breach crazy? 
But Jing, there's the breaches in, and so he's crazy. Wait, one in our spawn? No, there. Let's go, let's go. I need sight. Killjoy, weak side agent, because he has Molly. Omen, fast rotate off B. And the Yoru is a good weak side agent because he can teleport to strong side. <laughs> Wait out the chamber. Offense, there might not be much to say. Yep, this nade makes a lot of sense. We'll put it in. Essentially, you, you're trying to deny them scaling up quickly off their own util so that you can take this front space. It's kind of like Icebox where Icebox has the two um, like spaces you have to contest when you hit A. You've got to use some util to take the front half of A site before you hit A site itself. Lotus, very similar. Enemy a. Cover going you say Yoru is better on strong side to fast rotate towards weak side? Yeah, but he does both. I do prefer Yoru on strong side. I'm more saying you're just pretty much not going to see him be, I guess. Damn. They actually found a close range fight like that. Spike down a. Grenade. Go from the door, guys. Okay, open door. Let's go. Take three, take three. This is highly risky. We have time. Yep. I don't like taking tree. So you gotta keep in mind, from what we've seen, Killjoy and Omen are the ones who are playing uh, B and C. So we're pushing tree into a Breach Yoru, which I think is just really bad, especially because Breach still has stun. Open the door, guys. Okay, open door. Let's go. Take tree, take tree. I think Jing should not IGL take tree here. You don't like taking tree at all? Terrible question. I don't like taking tree right here in this scenario. Hi. And I will call your question bad so that you change how you ask questions. No asking when do you take tree? Ask why should they take tree this round or why shouldn't they take tree this round? Zero satchel okay. entries on this map? Really? I found, um... I mean, I'm playing Reason Swift play, of course, but... Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Grenade. Can't you, like, come up here? Satchel out. I don't know. I was doing this with the. You get the smoke to bloom here. So dangerous. No shit. You're sassling out. Really worthwhile space taking? Really? I don't know. I was finding it fun. Again, I'm not a race player. <laughs> it didn't seem like um, I was throwing the rounds, though, when I hit it. I don't know how to satchel. He said he yeah, wow, they actually lose that round. I need to blow something up. Yeah, just stun. Right side, right side, open. You bet you reloading. See, sassels are okay. probably good too, no? Red I'm like mound. Cover going out. Cover going out. Flash out. Oops. Oops. <laughs> he said oops too. You can go take gun, I think go Write that down. This, this game's tough. If you can't successfully threaten to, that you'll take strong side, which as you see, they're still trying to do, then um, you pretty much lose on Lotus. Because you're forced to push into okay, um, C. And C is like open, super open. unpushable. 
You can break it again. Yeah, I need to update my Lotus tier list. I feel like I was fucking wrong with the Cypher versus no. Killjoy thing. Down Killjoy down seems down so down good down. at controlling weak side. I'm bombing tight. Off your feet. No 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 Last player standing. You probably just lose this game, huh? Can I get a drop? Going B. Get out of my way. Okay, okay, we see this bomb, buddy. Every B hit. Let's wait for out. Spam makes sense. Every B hit so far. All right, I will update my wording so you don't interpret it the wrong way. Raised it. Out of charges. One enemy remaining. Where? Placing swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. Sit, sit. Right side, right. I can't gun, why? Chilling. He running in seat. And uh, notice he didn't really overheat past this line. Yes. He would have overheated past he this finally... at the end there once he knew, because he knew one, one was here. here. So there could only be one over here. Oh. But this is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Right. Yeah. Dangerous. I... Here you go. Notice, you it's really important. Here? You can't give up on hitting A. If you just go, okay, we're just going to hit C and B all game. And they stop worrying about A, then they'll start playing 2A, 1A, and you can't if you win. Open door, they're gonna stand. You have to make sure that they keep A strong side. If A becomes their weak side, because they're so confident you won't push it, you just lose. And yeah, it looks like they're kind of worried about that happening. Forsaken got gray space down. I tried to plant for Shadows traveling. We can take our breach. I want to take off cover. You want to take Two city, two city. They're going to alter. going out. You should run. He's fighting because, um,. You're wondering why he's fighting for more, probably. Kills his ult. Two CT, two CT. And if they don't control a huge amount of space, then this happens. We have two more leads on bomb. Easy round. He's Who's next? Yo, yeah, yours was yours, yes. He sees us, he sees us. He's done. Oh. Yo, we breach tech. Go see, go see, go see. Run, see, run, see. If I'm not Yoru, I'm crying. You literally have to fight four people. This is like a minor thing, but he's routing. Uh, he's not worried of the flash zone here because Breach is an A player. Breach wouldn't be bent. Doesn't make sense. If Yoru was alive, it's more of a threat. You can oh something. Oh, he's gonna have to fight here. Just bad. Yes, yes. What can I do when I rotate? Nothing, so I reach it. Why they put that smoke? Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, he dashed back. <laughs> Holy shit. Rip. This is such a radiant thing. Like, y she's crouched up here. In oh, oh, fuck. She's crouched up there in case um these dudes peek pre aimed on the box. Hi, Pinocchio. Where was the VOD? Here. Such a heckin' radiant thing. Yes, yeah, back.
can't do it in a rotation. In any other I'm lobby, I'd recommend check. you stand so that your head is further from their crosshair. But in Radiant, these dudes might actually pre-aim up box correctly. So she's crouched. He dash back. Hey, what a shot though. Ah. Uh, you just lose probably. Yeah. Just okay, I think write that down. Write that down. Make sure when you play where he's on Lotus, you lose. Yeah. So during the C hits, we find ourselves here, but um, overheating zones looked to match pretty much what I recommend. Um. Ooh. Is, man, this is heck an empty playbook. <laughs> we did not see much. It's, you mostly have to play around your teammates' utility on offense, on duelists. Like, you take space and you fight assiduously. It's just all about taking the right fights, I guess. Um, so, I'll save, but I recommend you mostly just look at my... This. Um, from my Lotus Guide. It, like you take the space on offense, which is pretty straightforward. You throw your nade, you fight the space with the team, you satchel on occasion. Then it's all about confidently winning fights on offense and taking the space and manipulating the map. Like there's not much to say on a raise specific level for how Jing was playing here. It was more just they were playing the map really well. Um, well, trying to play the map really well. They try to pull people A to hit C. But of course, they still lost. Happens. Uh, yeah, we probably have to watch. I w if I were here learning Raise on Lotus, I would watch more Raise Lotus bots at that point because I don't think I saw enough to give you a full comprehensive attack playbook from that VOD. Unfortunate. Happens. But this is what I saw from that VOD. Thank you, everybody, for showing up to Tier 3 Pro Analysis. Stopping the recording.